Thank you, Jeff. The finances of local governments have been especially hard hit by the coronavirus, and they are keeping careful watch now on Washington, hoping that the next stimulus bill addresses their needs. But as we hear tonight from Channel 2's Dave McKinley, just as important is the path down which any bailout money flows. Local governments are often on the front lines of providing services. Dealing with welfare, life safety, um, dealing with child care and senior care, uh, senior food provisions. But all of that and more is at risk amid the fallout from Governor Cuomo's shutdown orders in reaction to coronavirus, leaving towns like Amherst over a financial barrel. Currently probably looking at uh, a $6 million gap in revenue for this year. Uh, we think and estimate that we'll end up north of $20 million at year's end in terms of revenue gap. And they're not alone, nor are they alone in keeping a keen eye on what happens next in Washington and the next stimulus bill. Without the knowledge of where they're at, which it seems that they're in the middle of drafting the bill, uh, we don't have the ability to make decisions as if um, we knew that these revenues were going to be either some sort of relief with the federal funding um, or that we would be able to open back up. There's one thing about whatever money may be coming, though. The real thing that we have to focus on, if there is federal funding, that the funding goes directly to the locality and not just to the state or to the counties. Among their worst fears is that the money meant to bail out towns and villages is first passed through the state or the county. And then we never see the money. So we need to ensure that dedicated funds go to localities, every community. They have an ally there in Congressman Tom Reed, whom we talked to about this earlier today. In this fight on local and state aid, uh, I stand uh, uh, with the local governments. The towns say they will also lobby the state to relax the rules on how they can spend town reserve funds in case they need to dip into those and, yes, even relax the property tax cap, which could result in massive tax hikes, which they already know nobody will be happy with. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.